everyone, this video is called Spend Free Shopping Spree. I've just thought of this quite recently. Um, it's all about finding things that you've completely forgotten about in your house and getting that really nice feeling of A, surprise, and B, um, that little kind of flutter that you get if you've bought something really nice and you're really pleased, except you haven't gone out and bought it because it's something you already owned and forgot about. This has been inspired by two things. The first thing is that Mr. AMR found a couple of boxes full of stuff that had been in storage um, and hadn't been unpacked yet and it was a bit like opening some kind of time capsule. And the other thing was that I started looking through, I don't know whether you remember in my office, my mum had given me this memory box full of things from when I was born up until when I left home. And I kind of laughed about it and said, oh, I don't know why she's done that. It's a bit nasty, really. Um, you know, I don't want to keep anything. There are some brilliant things in there. So I'm probably going to do a whole video on my memory box. Um, but it made me think about rediscovering things from your past or that you'd forgotten about and reusing them and bringing them back into your life. The first thing is from the memory box. Now, does anybody remember these? I am talking probably 1999 or the year 2000. Can you see the Dior logo in this? I think that these were a gift with purchase for Dior Cosmetics back in the day. It's a snap-on bracelet. Did you see that? And I used to spend quite a lot of money in um, the department stores on things like Chanel and Dior makeup. And I'm pretty sure these were a gift when you bought kind of two cosmetic products or something. Can anyone remember? If you can, put it in the comments below. I had this in orange and green as well, I'm pretty sure. So mum, if you've still got those at home, I want them. I've been doing this all day. Second thing, now, I have a friend, a very old friend of mine, Sarah Eacock, who is now Sarah Jones, and she is handbag crazy, and she's always been handbag crazy. And um, I met her, first of all, in probably about 1996 or 97, and we were both selling car insurance, because that's what I did as my um, job when I was in sixth form and at uni, and also at the weekends when I started modelling, I still did that to make sure I had enough money for my commuting back down to London and stuff like that. Um, and I think in about 1999 or maybe the year 2000, we went down to London to the Louis Vuitton store and she persuaded me to buy my first bag. Bless, because it's not even a bag. Look, you couldn't use this as a bag. Um, but I didn't have enough money, obviously, for a proper Louis Vuitton handbag. And so I bought this, which was like a little toiletries pouch. Toiletries pouch. Now, Sarah, if you are watching this, Tell me in the comments below how much we paid for our toiletries pouches because I think that this was £100. I seem to remember I bought a keyring chain link extender thing to make the strap longer so I could wear it as a handbag and that was more expensive than the leather. So can you remember, because I can't see this on their website anymore, funny that, um, because we are going back almost 20 years probably, this has developed a kind of greasy feel to it. It's really weird. Um, but when I found it in the box, I was like, oh my God, my first little handbag purchase. I remember that when I went to pay for this, I was having actual palpitations because I couldn't believe I was going to spend so much on a bit of leather. How things have changed. I have absolutely no qualms about spending on bits of leather now. Two little beauty things. The first one, so I'm getting through my office sorting now and trying to kind of check out makeup that's gone off while it was in storage because it went really hot and it was also in storage when it was really cold so lots of stuff got ruined and just stuff that I, it, I don't want. And the first thing that got saved, Soap and Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I had completely forgotten about this concealer and it's really affordable and really brilliant. If um, you can't kind of stretch to the Laura Mercier secret camouflages and the Bobbi Brown concealers and things like that that have got the setting powder and the two tones. This is amazing. So you've got really nice, believable um, shades in the bottom. This is shade light. And then you've got your translucent setting powder in the lid. And I've completely forgotten about it. Now it's going into my regular little stash of things. 
And the other thing, I hadn't forgotten about this, um, but I knew that it was in there somewhere, the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation. It's pretty much always in my thoughts when I think about more affordable foundations, because it's just so light and fresh and gorgeous and the coverage is nice. I actually have it on this half of my face, and on the other half today I have the City Radiance, the new one from Bourjois, um, because I'm going to do a comparison post. But so far, this one is just unbeatable, really, um, which I thought would be the case. This one's really nice, very comprehensive coverage, but just doesn't feel as fresh and juicy as the other one. I know that this is a bit of a thing, this shop my stash thing with beauty. And I think I might do a couple of videos with things that I've found, because there are loads of products like tinted moisturisers, because I've been really into foundations recently. I've not really given a lot of love to tinted moisturisers, but I, I really like using them and they work really well on my skin. And they're nice and juicy, you know, they're moisturising. Funny that. So I might do a couple of um, beauty videos in the same vein as this, if you fancy that. Let me know in the comments below. This was a nice find. <clears throat> this was a present from uh, Mr. or Model Recommends years and years and years ago when I did loads of travelling for modelling and I was always on flights and I always hated being away from home. And then one anniversary. It must have been pre... It was pre-marriage because it was on a kind of dating how long we've been together anniversary, not a wedding anniversary. And look, it's from Karen Walker. She's got her little travel pack on. And she's, um, I don't know, looking a little bit like I always was, except I had a rolly suitcase and not one of those Dick Whittington stick things. It's very cute anyway, and I'm glad they found that. Look, the jewellery is still out on this jumper because do you remember me featuring this on the website? I don't know whether, I had a pale pastel pink one but it washed up really badly and that's gone um, into the fabric bin recycling thing at the supermarket. But I also bought it, Topshop Jumper, in Pepto-Bismol Pink. It's probably not the real name of this colour but um, that's what I like to call it. And so, I don't know. Do you know, I found this just after I had been into Harvey Nichols trying on all those jumpers last week and one of the jumpers was not dissimilar in colour to this but very fitted around the boobs which I was a bit worried about and then opened this box and hey presto, bright pink jumper. So that means I don't have to buy another one which is good and this kind of doesn't accentuate how big my milky old boobs are at the moment. There's one more thing I wanted to talk about. Oh, um, my leopard print coat. Now you saw this in a vlog a couple of weeks ago. It's um, Diane von Furstenberg and I bought it off either the Outnet or in the net porter sale years ago and then forgot that I had, I kind of took the labels off, wore it once and then thought, oh, I'm not sure about this, it's a little bit shapeless. But then I saw that lots of people were wearing these duster style jackets or more cocoon shapes that aren't very fitted and looked really cool in them and realised that maybe I just needed to cash it up a bit and then since I've done that I really love it. I'm going to go and shoot some close-ups of my things for you and um, I'll see you next time but I'm tagging some people in this video. I want Caroline Hyron's Lily Pebbles and Anna Viviana Does Makeup to do a shop free, no, spend free shopping spree. Now, I know Caroline will find that quite easy because she does tend to hoard stuff like I do a little bit, even though she's a lot tidier. But Lily and Anna are so bloody organised, I can't imagine there'll be anything that they've forgotten about in their houses. So I'm really interested to see whether they'll be able to do it. So it's a bit of a challenge. Um, and I will link to their channels below, or when they've done the video, I will link to the videos and update my info box. But for now, I hope that you enjoyed that and I shall see you in the next video.